Hello everyone, this is a second video uh, in regards to Microsoft Azure training. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, additional disks to our newly created VM. So in the previous video, we created a VM called uh, WebVM01. So let's get started. All we need to do is to log into Microsoft Azure account and you can go to all resources. If you cannot see your newly, uh, newly created VM on your dashboard, you can always go to either all resources uh, within all resources it would load and here you can see it's a new virtual machine and you can see your other resources as well we can go into click on your uh, new virtual machine and it would give you an overview here you can have connect uh, you can connect in the last video we connected to our uh, virtual machine in order to add a new disk all you need to do is to go to disks and within this you can say add a dish, uh, data disk and here you need to select that uh, if you have any existing uh, free disks uh, available then you can add them otherwise you need to create a new disk and here you need to name your disk so I would name it according to the virtual machine so webvm uh, webvm disk 2 web vm this too or you can name it data disk and we can attach it to our existing uh, resource group which is web services 01 same resource group where the vm is and location will be the same uh, canada central there are no availability zones uh, it will be a primary ssd uh, it will be an empty disk and the size of the disk is 1 gb uh, in my case i'm going to get 10 GB so it will be 10 GB and create it's validating and in few moments the resource will be created and attached in the meantime what we can do while it is uh, validating we can connect to our VM so we can connect to our VM which is right here so unsaved cancel so let me so let us complete this operation first should be done by now so it is done so a new disk is added to our vm we can go to uh, actually we need to save it updating virtual machine and right after this we're going to connect and then we're going to see uh, we can we can configure the disk inside uh, Windows VM. So we can go to overview now and connect. While connected, will we will download the RDP file and same procedure as from the last video. In order to connect, it will ask for username and password. So I'm going to use same password and login so if your password username password is correct it would give you the screen and would let you connect in few seconds so right here it is connecting so once uh, if the disk is added properly then you should be able to uh, go into uh, disks within uh, server 2016 or server 2012 or server 2008 you can go to file and storage services so file and storage services just taking a bit longer and within the disks you should be able to see a uh, offline disk so here so one disk it already had was os disk and you see that there is an os disk which is uh, which are these disk 127 gb and this is the one uh, 10 gb so it is actually online so it's added and now all we need to do is to format it and next so here and 
then you need to just format this test. It will assign a drive letter and we can name it data disk. Data, data disk. And next and create. So once the disk is created, we should be able to find it in Windows Explorer. It doesn't take much time to create this disk. So here, and let's go to Windows Explorer. So within Windows Explorer, you should be able to go to this PC, and within the PC, here is your data disk. So this is the disk that we added from Microsoft Azure, and now it is part of this VM. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.